I'm an officer in the intelligence field. I'm based on the border near Egypt. I'm the commander of the CAC and responsible of the radar systems in Elat area in the Navy. I am a commander in Iron Dog Battery in the north of Israel. I'm a fighter navigator and fly on the F-16D. There since I was a kid, I wanted to be a combat soldier. I think it's the best job for me. When my big sister got into the Navy, I saw her and knew that's what I wanted to do. Both of my parents served in the Israeli Defense Force. My mother served over 25 years, and she actually retired three days after I began my military service. At the age of 17, I had a flight over Israel, and I fell in love with the airplane, and then I decided to be a pilot. I come from Peru. I am a lone soldier. Lone soldier is someone that family is not here in the Israel. It's hard. I miss my family. In my job, when you face something in the field, it doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man. We do the same job. It is amazing that 20 years ago, there wasn't even one female pilot, but today we have dozens. We do the same missions. We do the same training. The Israeli Navy gives an equal opportunities to male and women. I have 70 soldiers and six officers under my responsibility. I'm proud to be an officer in IDF, to be here to protect my country, our country, to protect Jews in the world. I'm very proud to serve in the Iron Dome buffer because I know that with us, Israel is more protected. I am very proud to be a fighter navigator in the Israeli Air Force. I know that what we do is very important and necessary for the safety of Israel and the Jews around the world. I think that serve and protect Israel is both a duty and a privilege. It's amazing to get up every morning and know that this people is here, live their life because of you. It makes me happy. We're all aware of the support and the help that Friends of IDF do for us, the soldiers, during the service and even after that. Last year, I got the opportunity to be part of a mission from Holocaust to Independence with the FIDF. To be on those lands, officers from the IDF, with supporters of the IDF, to know that these people appreciate you and loves you and they don't even know you. To be there with them, it gives meaning to what we do. It is very uh, nice to know that people from Miami, which is very far from here, uh, think about us and care about us. FIDF Miami, in my words, Amo todo lo que hacen por nosotros los soldados. Knowing that people in Miami appreciate what you do as a woman gives you power to continue what you do even if it's, it's not that easy. I'm already seven years in the Army and my future plans are to stay in the Army because I really believe that what we do it's the most important thing to do and that is to make sure that Israel is safe.